Google Gemini 3 has just been released. It's Google's newest AI model. If you've been wondering what Gemini 3 actually is or why everybody keeps talking about Google AI Studio, stick around. Gemini 3 brings any idea to life and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what Gemini 3 does, why you should care, how to try it for free and three real world tasks to use it for. Google Gemini 3.0 is Google's newest multimodal AI model. What is a multimodal AI model? Well, it's designed to handle text, images, video, code, reasoning, planning, all in one system. See, Gemini 1 introduced true multimodality, Gemini 2 pushed deeper reasoning, and now Google Gemini 3 takes a big leap in accuracy, speed, and real world usefulness, whether you're using the Gemini app, Google AI Studio, or you're testing the Gemini 3 Pro model. Here's how to try Gemini 3 free today. You've got a few options. First of all, in Google search in supported regions. You'll see an AI mode at the top of the search. Go ahead and click this and you'll be using the latest Gemini model. Number two, the Gemini app. So it's easy to access. Now this is available now on desktop, Android and iPhone. If you already use Google, it feels very familiar. So have a bit of a play with it. Thirdly, Google AI Studio. Now at the moment, this is where you can currently use Gemini 3 Pro Preview free and even test the Gemini API if you're experimenting with simple apps or automations. Yes, it's free to access now, but don't wait too long because you never know how long these free trials last. But right now you don't need to commit to a subscription or even be a developer to try it out. You just need a Google account. Real quick, are you paying for more than one AI tool subscription? I bet you are, so stop that now. This is i10x, a unified workspace that puts the top models and over 500 specialized AI tools into one clean interface. Switch between GPT-5, Claude 4.5, Gemini, Grok, Perplexity, DeepSeek, and more in the same chat. No tab switching in one account. Chat with AI, draft docs, analyze PDFs, do deep research, create images, and even generate video. Then keep moving with cross-agent memory so context carries across the different tools. Compare AI models side by side in comparison mode. And if you're advanced, inside this platform, you can even build your own agents and chatbots. Pricing is simple, basic from $8 a month and unlimited from $17.50 a month. Use code TH15 and that's about $7 and $15 per month respectively with that discount. Note here that image and video generation do run on plan credits, so the sweet spot here is the AI chat experience. Cut your subscriptions, keep one unified tool and get all the top models plus over 500 AI tools in one place. Try i10x today, risk free with a seven day money back guarantee. Use the link below with code TH15 for 15% off all plans. And thanks to i10x for sponsoring this video. Why should a beginner or even someone a little bit more advanced with AI even bother with Google AI Studio or Google Gemini 3? Well, three reasons. Use case one is learning and understanding. You can drop in long form videos or links to videos, images, school notes, work documents, and Gemini 3 breaks it all down in simple English. You could, for example, put in a prompt to summarize a YouTube video from the past, this one here, into key takeaways explain it in simple beginner level language, and then turn it into a three-step action plan that I can follow to actually remember and use the information. Okay, it's done that really well. Here are the three key takeaways that I wanted to convey in the video. So that's perfect, it's really well summarized. Number two. Getting stuff done. Google's turning Gemini into a proper assistant. Planning trips, organizing projects, rewriting documents, generating ideas, or cleaning up your inbox. It's built for everyday life. So I want to plan a 10 day trip in Thailand in February, flying from Melbourne, visiting Krabi, PP Islands, and Phuket, with a budget of around $400 a day. And it builds out the whole thing for me. You'll get suggested return flights, a full day itinerary, how many nights in each spot, and hotel options that stay inside your budget. Now, it hasn't booked anything yet, but I can still double check the prices, and I have been on this itinerary before, so I can tell you it's actually pretty spot on. So what it does is it turns a simple holiday idea into a complete organized plan in seconds. Number three, building things. If you're a creator, a student, or a solopreneur, Gemini 3 helps you write code, prototype apps, create visuals, and handle technical tasks you'd normally avoid because it's too hard to learn. Basically, Gemini 3 lowers the skill barrier so anyone can start making things. So I'll paste in one prompt here and I'll get it to generate a Pac-Man style game that I can download and play in my browser. I asked Gemini here to write a prompt that I can prepare to put into Google AI Studio to then go and create the game. And you can see it's gone through and written the code and even given me a game to play here in the preview. So I can move the Pac-Man around, collect pips, Really good result in just a few seconds. 
The free version is great for beginners. Things like learning, summarizing, planning, and general tasks work perfectly fine. The more advanced models like Gemini 3 Pro and the bigger reasoning models sit behind the paid tier though. You can get Gemini 3 Pro included in your Google AI Pro subscription, which is around $20 a month, but access to the Gemini 3 Pro API gets a bit complicated with usage charges, but this option is mainly for people who need deeper coding help, advanced analysis, or business level tasks. Gemini 3 is certainly on par with many things that ChatGPT can do, but check out this video here to see all about ChatGPT projects. It'll blow your mind just how well you can organize things and get ChatGPT to work for you using that feature. Also subscribe to the channel for more AI updates just like this. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you there.